I forgot to turn the microphone on. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very portal Christmas. Now with the new and improved mic turned on instead of off. Um, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, looks like it's going to be uh, just you and me for a bit. That's all right, because we're here to have fun. We're here to solve some puzzles, do some tests. Um, so let's see if we can get right back into it. Uh, I believe when we left off, we had just finished. Um, yeah, there we go. We had just finished chapter one. Uh, GLaDOS is now wide awake and she doesn't seem to be a morning person because she's very angry uh very angry at us um but we're gonna start off by doing some tests with her and then we'll see how far we can go from there <laughs> Is the cold boot the name of the second chapter? I, I don't remember, because I remember there's the wake up call uh, is the name of the first chapter. Who knows, it might actually pop up. Or if we do save game, is it going to say? All right. You know what? You're the portal expert. I'll just believe you on that. All right, so this is our first test with GLaDOS. Or rather, our first test this time with GLaDOS. Um, I believe... Oh. I believe that this is an old test chamber uh, from the first game. It looks pretty familiar. Oh, no, wait, nope. Nope, I lied. It's, um... This is a similar setup, because this is lasers this time, whereas... Oop, Accidentally zoomed in, whereas before it was um, energy balls, I believe. But same concept, very simple. The only problem is, as uh, we now have to get over there and not touch the water. Or is this safe water? I don't remember. Right, this isn't deadly water yet. Yet. There we go. Easy enough. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself though. We have a lot of tests to do. Ah, oh, see that? I'm good at it. That was That was actually a genuine compliment, technically. Oh, the Sun and Moon anime. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. I really like the the sounds the Pokemon make. Like beware is so cute. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Ah yes, good old jumping. Funny, it seems to be the same button you use to speak. Yeah, let me just like continue to destroy this already uh, dilapidated facility. Oh, does Rallet make cute noises? I love Rallet. Rallet makes really cute noises in the in the video game. All right, so. We're going to be seeing a lot of these types of cubes later. But still pretty simple test so far. Oh, y you okay there? Oh, it's trying. It's trying so hard. Let's see. Ah. 
Uh, I love having the zoom feature. It's great. That is something I very, very much missed in the old game. Or the first game, rather. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Man, I forgot how good her, her dialogue is in this game. She's so quotable. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh, there's a really good line she's got about um, being as graceful as an, as an eagle piloting a blimp. Oh, I believe that's a, a faith plate test. I love the faith plates. Alright, where's the cube? Cube, cube, cube. GLaDOS loves her cubes. Oh, looks like it's another rat den. That's... I don't remember this song playing on the radio. This is... This is Exile Vilify. I thought... I thought that was a fan-made song. Maybe I've just missed this rat den every single time. It's always been in this chamber, okay. Maybe I've just always missed it, I guess. Or maybe it's just been that long, I don't know. Huh. Although, I think I do vaguely remember the too many variables one. Huh. Alright, back to testing. Back to testing. Where's the cube? Oh, it's up there. And what did that power? The door. It's still missing something. What is it missing? Uh, there's another. Is there a second cube that I'm missing? Or... Oh no, there's a second laser. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Yeah, I I uh I have done that Brit. Uh there's uh Brit was saying that um in the chat that there is a test coming up where there's a radio that falls out instead of a cube. You're navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Right, um... Oh! I think this is it. This is the, uh... The chamber. No, it's not. It's too early. 
But uh, yeah, there's a chamber coming up, and there's a radio that's gonna fall out before a cube does out of one of those uh, things. And if you take that cha the radio into a, a Ratman den, it um, I think it does some sort of like binary code type noises. Um, and if you put those together, it forms an image of the companion cube on a moon, which um, is... Um, yeah. Waddle. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it forms a picture of Companion Cube on the Moon, which is foreshadowing. Lots of moon and space based foreshadowing. The uh, the foreshadowing gets a lot more heavy-handed the further in the game you go. Ratman is, is also in the Lego Dimension levels. I've been meaning to look that up on YouTube because I'm not planning on buying the game, so I gotta like find the cutscenes on YouTube or something. Uh, faith plates. There's faith plates in this test. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial. Yay! Okay, alright. So this is one of my favorite mechanics uh of the game. Um it's it's kinda similar to how uh the momentum puzzles work, except you don't have to create a portal to fling yourself. Uh it just flings yourself for you. But I just kind of like you know, zooming through the tests through the air. It's really fun. Whee! And now I have to do it again and do this. And I love the music that plays when you go up in the air. It gets louder when, you, uh, when you're in the air than it is when you're on the ground. So you can hear it a little bit right now, but now it's really going. But you gotta time this just right so you can collide. Nope. With the cube. Ah, just missed it. To be honest, I don't mind that I have to do this a couple times because it's just so much fun. Nope, too soon. Way too soon. There we go. Got it. Yeah, and you will see that a lot of these test chambers are beginning to be cleared up a bit. They're getting much cleaner. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. And it's interesting to note that she said that far down because, like, we're in the upper levels of Aperture and we started, I guess we started somewhat high up because the elevators are taking us down now instead of, I don't know, up? I think the elevators in the old game were going up. It's really hard to tell because they, they weren't, they didn't have these glass doors like these do. But let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up fifteen acres of broken glass by myself. <laughs> I'm really glad she was able to like the voice actress was really able to Can I get through? Thank you. Like 
Yes, this is this is the one. Uh, I was talking about earlier with the radio. Um, but I'm really glad that I've, I've totally forgotten her name. It's, um, Alan McLean, I believe. Um, like, she's such a good voice actor, and she's a professional opera singer. I'm really glad she was able to do a lot more with GLaDOS's voice this time around, because she did a fantastic job. Alright, advanced aerial faceplates. Ready. Whee! Oh, right. I was supposed to put portals here. My bad. Um. Yeah, and fun fact, uh, the comment that GLaDOS made about the 15 anchors of broken glass, that's actually the name of the music track that's playing right now. Acres of Broken Glass. Whee! Alright, so there should... Let me do a save real quick. Because it, I remember in the past it took me a couple... Uh, tries to catch the radio. Turn you around, smelling and being, and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You are not a radio. Neither are you. I didn't. Oh nope, there's the radio. See, nuts playing it's garbage. that good old, the button again. um, good old, what do we call it? Still alive, jazzy version. Now, real question is, where is the rat den? Because I do not remember. Nope, that's not it. I'll just keep you over here. Britt probably remembers, but she had to be her B. And here comes Cube. Oh, oops. I forgot to leave those there. Let's try that again. And there it goes. Got it. Okay, cool. Brit is back. Brit, I have the radio. Where's the Ratman done? Oh, good, it landed. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Do you see where the angle's surfaces are? Over there? Yes. To the right of them. Okay. So I don't want to spend too much time, like, quote unquote, messing around in this game. But, um,. I do want to show this particular Ratman Den off.
surface to the left to this left or oh I see what I need to do I see okay It's interesting that the uh, radio stops working um, once uh, you go through a portal. Like that brief second when like you're kind of in between. Okay. Faith plate time. Whee! And here we go. Smooth jazz fails. He predicted the smooth jazz fail. Nothing is real. Companion cube. Oh, look, and he's got the phases of the moon up here, too. We've got crescent. Half, gibbous, full, gibbous, waning, half. Yeah, and, um, the music did change for a second. It went back to, uh, Acres of Broken Glass, but for a second it was playing, uh, Ghost of Ratman is the name of the, uh, track. Where, like, if you listen to the full track, like, you can hear him, like, talking and muttering to himself. It's super creepy. But I believe we could also hear that back when we were looking at his paintings when we were grabbing the first portal gun. Um. But yeah, that beeping's getting annoying, so let's get back to the test. So we're gonna have to do this one more time. Um, I don't remember actually. Um, I don't remember there being a companion cube um, used in this game actually. I don't know, we'll have to see once I get through here. Right, right, yeah, I do remember now. I do remember the companion cube, um... I'd be a bit more startling if I hadn't seen the subtitle read train noise. And yes, there's a companion cube. I do remember it. If you get close enough, you can hear it singing um, a song that's going to be later in the game. It's okay, companion cube. I won't I won't let anything happen to you this time. No incinerators, no nothing. We'll be together forever. For real this time. Uh oh. I fizzled that one too. Oh. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Oh, almost got hit in the head with that. That will kill you. Don't fizzle this one on me. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I saw that. Did you see that? Did you see that? Wow, I barely turned around in time. I know there's plenty of instances where you can catch him, but like, I can... 
like I don't know where they specifically are but wow so yeah no I I I don't think I've caught that I don't normally catch them um because I forget about them um I don't, like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. What did what did that accomplish? What did that do? Oh, that's what that did. Right. It's it's always handed that they have those little blue things there. Did Wheatley just pop out there again and I missed it? Um, let's see, let's see. What do we need to do now? Is this a momentum puzzle? It might be. Let's see, it looks like I need to get up there. Is that a button? There must be a button up there. Um, so let's do this. Oh, it didn't fall out like I thought it would. Okay, now the thing is, while you're holding things, you can't shoot portals, so you have to, like, line up very carefully with this. Also, sometimes cubes will get caught um, on portals coming through or gotta be really careful you don't land in the middle of that laser this one is broken this one's broken this one is broken don't take anything with you heck yeah I'm taking something with me I'm taking the cannon cube with me we're gonna be together forever um, wait, I, yeah. Yay, we did it, companion cube, we're gonna make it. Oh, oh. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are I, I love you too, companion cube. I will always love the companion cube. You know, the real story behind the companion cube is um, GLaDOS keeps talking about it like that, uh, in, in the first one anyway, because it reminds the player that the companion cube is there, because you do need the companion cube with you the whole time to get through that uh, initial test chamber with it, because pl test players would uh, leave it behind. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area. Number eight. Did not have one. Right, um... Yeah, because test players would leave their cubes behind and then have to backtrack and go get them. Um, oh. Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. So yeah, that's the story of the companion cube. Um, and that slowed down, I believe, was the first paragraph of um, Moby Dick. You know, the whole call me Ishmael, uh, that sort of thing. Ha, take that security camera. I, I don't know why I did that. That was very immature. I d <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I do know qu uh, quite a few fun facts. I, I have played this before with, um, 
uh, the director's commentary on and all that. Um, if only, if only I could at least remember, uh, how to finish these puzzles. Um, okay. So, what I need to do is this. Oh, I gotta put that a little lower. And now, when I go to redirect this, uh, I don't have to worry about my portals being destroyed. It's going to be a lot more complicated test involving that sort of mechanic later. I remember getting stuck on a few of those, but that's much, much later in the game. Like, um, third act, I'd say. We're still in the first act right here. We're still in modern aperture. Ooh! Okay, cool. We completed chapter two. Now we're in chapter three, The Return. Because one of my favorite characters is making a comeback. We already saw a little bit of him later. It's trying so hard. It's trying so hard. Just, just lay down. Just like shh, 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 shh. shh, shh. Okay. Yay! More faith plates. Faith plates and lasers. That's a great combination. The whole modular concept of the the how stuff is built here is really cool, actually. Um. All right, doesn't look like there's much for me to do except jump. <gasps> there he is. Yep. Try it now. I sure did. Must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time, Wheatley. <laughs> you seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. There's an awful lot of bird references in here. I feel like someone at Valve has, like, this thing against birds. Ah. Okay. Alright, fine. We're just in this infinite hoop here. There we go. Lasers, lasers, lasers. Uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. It's gonna be a lot of back checking to this faith plate. It's a good thing I pressed the right button there. And the cube is over there. So now all we have to do is do that. Not land on top of the laser. And good, orange portal is still there. Oh, I thought I stepped on it. There we go. Now we have a cube. And the laser goes... There. That goes there. 
don't want to get too close to the laser. And that goes there, which opens that up. But first, I want to do this one more time on the faith plate. We look at you sailing through the air majestically like an eagle piloting a balloon. Love that line. She's so many good lines in this one, it's great. There's the elevator. So that was test chamber nine. I can't remember how many we go through. I know there's this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test. Maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. I actually did see a deer yesterday. We were uh, driving 22. Okay, so there's 22. Um, we were driving along this road in the middle of nowhere at night. And we had to stop suddenly because there were two deer. Ooh, Brett is laying down the sick speedrunning tactics. Yeah, it says there's 22 tests, but we're not actually going to be doing 22. When you go through a portal and shoot the same color the moment, color the moment you go through it, you gain momentum. I didn't know you could do that. Let me see if I can try that. Oh. I did gain some momentum there. And now I have the cube ahead of time. Oh, I forgot there was a hole. I forgot there was a hole. Um, can I get back up here? There we go. Um, let's see, now what I want to do is... Oh, this is good music too. Although it's like, it's, it's really cool that the music like really super kicks in when you're in the air like that. But at the same time, um, like, it's good music. And I want to hear more of it, but it's only when I'm in the air for that short amount of time. Uh, so I need that cube. I'm just going to very carefully not hit that. Oh, taking some debris away. Whee! Okay, so now I believe if I put this here, that should lower it. This is a multi-step process, but once you actually get it going, it is so much fun. Yeah, yeah, Machia Machiavellian Bach it does that in a much later chamber, where it's classical when you're on the ground, but when you're in the air, it switches over to uh, uh, techno. It's super cool. So, yeah, as I was saying, this, this does take quite a few steps, but once everything comes together, like, you go bounce, 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 all the way up to the top, and it's super fun. I uh, just have to remember how to do it. Um, Alright, and let's see, looks like I get Oh, the cube come up to me. That's fun. Um 
There's already an existing la laser. So somehow that laser needs to get up here. Okay, so if we head down this way. And we take this. Put that there. Oh, it looks like it's just slightly off. I have to fix that upstairs. Oh, and not get hit by the laser. Let's not get hit by the laser. There we go. So now, all we have to do is go down to the bottom. And we're going to start bouncing all over the place. Whee! Puzzle done. You passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. All right, so I've been streaming for about an hour. I think we can go 7.30 at the latest, maybe. Uh, thanks for watching, those of you on YouTube. Um, we're going to keep going right after this, so hopefully I'll be able to get these two episodes up one right after the other. Render times do, render times do take a while on YouTube. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode with more portals, more Christmas, more GLaDOS, um, more fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye.